Hey guys, I'm gonna be late for work. Scott's Law, got pulled over for Scott's Law. As the reason I'm getting pulled over right now is because I was merging on the highway and maybe like a 50 feet ahead of me, a police officer pulled over somebody else. And there's like three sh uh, state sheriffs on the highway just chilling on the side of the road i think they're all communicating within each other and i guess i didn't merge to the far left lane the second lane and that's what they got me for they're all coordinating this it's a joke it's a fucking joke they just pulled over another guy right in front of me with an audi two state police officers this is some bull dude we gotta take this to court this ain't right man they're just nitpicking on people, dude. And my record is clean. I got no moving violations. Uh, one parking violation like four years ago. So this is ridiculous, man. Dude, they just pulled over another guy. Look, I'll show you right there. See that guy over there? The other one just got pulled over. And look how many cars are driving right now in the far lane and not pulling over. I'm gonna count right now how many cars don't pull over to the farther lane. I should have knew this, man. Okay, one car didn't pull over. Second car didn't pull over. Third car slowed down, didn't pull over. Fourth car didn't pull over. Fifth car didn't pull over. So what they got five cars they can go after right now. I was just coming off an of off-ramp and he expects me to pull over to the second lane. That's a safety issue. I gotta show you guys all this. How many cars are driving by there and not pulling over? Nobody is pulling over. So these all, all these people on the right lane are should get a ticket technically because they don't move over. Scottsdale law, ladies and gentlemen. Officer, I'm down 10 grand in UVXY. He'll let me go. He feels sorry for me. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It is the next day now after we got this ticket. We're just going to show you guys what happened, where we were. So I'm going on the on ramp right now to the highway. It's a long merging lane, as you guys will see. Sorry that it's a little rainy. I'm sure the police officers aren't going to be out here today. They don't want to get their little uniforms wet, but this is the same route I take every day. And I'll tell you where Officer A was positioned and Officer B that pulled me over. It's a tight turn. You don't really see anything on the right-hand side. And then the police officer was right past this bridge right here. I slowly turned and merged onto the other lane. And look, this merging lane still exists currently. This is still the merging lane over here. It still exists right up to this point, right here where the speed limit sign is, the, mer the lanes are merged. So technically, I was driving down my merging lane the entire time the police pulled me over. 
At this point, I'm just going to turn onto the middle lane. I'm not taking any chances if there's any vehicles, emergency vehicles on the side of the road. What it looks like, like I just said, it's raining. They ain't trying to get wet. So the next point is I'm driving slowly down this road. And then we spot a vehicle. We spot a vehicle chilling on the side with his lights off. I'm trying to remember exactly where that vehicle was. I don't remember 100%, but we do remember we got pulled over before, before the Devon exit. And I'll show you guys where that Devon exit is. So at this point, I believe the officer, here, let me get you guys closer here. The officer, the second officer, I believe was chilling right over here on the side of the road. And I drove past him on this lane and I slowly started, he started, I slowly noticed that he started moving. So I already knew it seemed like he's going after me. My, my vehicle is blue, I got yellow lights and he went right after me. And as soon as he went right after me, we pretty much pulled over right over here. Right before this Devon sign. This is where he pulled me over. So w where he wrote he pulled me over by Oakton is way off. Again, I was merging safely onto the highway. That vehicle came to my field of view fairly late. You know, I didn't feel safe turning onto the oncoming traffic. And I mean, it's, it's a bullshit ticket. And I hope you guys understand that. I hope you guys understand my reasoning behind this. I support cops, you know, they do their job. They put their lives on the table, especially in Chicago in the ghetto neighborhoods. It, it's a dangerous place to, to work. But, you know, you as a citizen, you also got to fight your fight, man. If, if it's bullshit what they're doing, obviously, this is not a, just a random Scott's Law ticket. They're, they're cracking down. So I'm sure hundreds and thousands of people got tickets yesterday on this same very highway for, you know, reasons that aren't accurate. Because one cop calls in to the other cop, blue car, yellow headlights maybe. Maybe he gave him the license plate, maybe not. And then... That second cop is telling me whether I had merging time or, or space to merge or not. Like, he doesn't know. The, the first cop was writing the ticket to somebody. He probably wasn't even paying attention. I just, it just sucks that, you know, sometimes they take advantage of a citizen with the law. This is Sergeant Struck with the Sheriff's Office. We're out here today on Route 41 in Wadsworth enforcing Scott's Law, which requires a motorist to change lanes. And if changing lanes is not possible, slow down when there's an emergency vehicle to the side of the road. In 2017, the law changed, which includes all vehicles who have uh, emergency lights on, including hazard lights. We're now going to go out on Route 41 and show examples of the right way and the wrong way to approach emergency vehicles or vehicles on the side of the road. So Sergeant Struck here just made a traffic stop. We're going northbound here on Route 41. We're just south of Wadsworth Road. So what the law states is that the vehicles traveling northbound that are approaching us, they're required to yield a full lane or reduce their speed if they're unable to yield a full lane. So shortly here, we'll have another backup officer with us. And should somebody violate Scott's law, uh, he will initiate a traffic stop on those. In fact, we just have a violator here that went by. Uh, and he will be pulled over for their violation. So as you can see, a lot of people were following Scott's Law. They were heeding the advice they've been receiving and the messages we've been pushing out here across the state of Illinois. Thus far in 2019, since the beginning of the year, there have been three state troopers killed in crashes, two of them directly associated to Scott's Law violations. All it takes is one person not paying attention, texting, not yielding that full lane, and tragedy can occur. I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see it's true But the world is pretty cold, you might need a sweater too I'ma put a ride on ya, get from California Trying to make it a life, a school that never taught ya
dream.